Today's lesson is for intermediate level learners, and that is the grammar form Urirago, or you might just see this abbreviated as Urira. Now, the way that it works is as you would expect. If a verb stem ends in a consonant, you're going to attach Urirago, and if it ends in a vowel, you're just going to attach Nirago. Now, what this means is to save you a lot of time, it's actually a different version of this, the future tense form. To think, that something will be a certain way. So this is basically a future tense form, but it's used to show that you think or believe that something will be a certain way. And let's break this apart a little bit more. The uri part of this form itself, it's literally like making an assumption or a guess about something, like saying something will be, or even I guess that, I think that something. So this form is used directly to express your thoughts that something you're assuming something will happen or something will be. So again, for expressing your thoughts, or you can also think about it as like you're quoting your own assumptions about how something will be. You can translate this form as something like this. I trust that, or I believe that, or I think that. And because of that, this form is often used, this form right here, is often used together with verbs that express things like that, belief or think. For example, the verb mita, to believe, sengakada, to think, baumokta, to decide to do something, or even malhada, to say that you're going to do something. And about using it with those, just like this form, you have an option of using this form together with those verbs, or you can leave them off and just end a sentence with this form here. And you can think about it without a verb as kind of just like the regular future tense, like saying something will happen or someone will do something like that. So what's the difference then between just using the regular future tense or this form, korago? It's a bit more poetic sounding. And I should also say it's more emphatic. It's more of a poetic, like this shall happen, this will happen, that sort of feeling versus the regular future tense, the modern form, which is just something will happen, someone will do something, the end. So let me give you an example sentence of how you can use this form. So because it rained, at the park, 사람들이 별로 없으리라 생각했어요. So I thought there wouldn't be, the, literally future tense, there will not be very many people at the park because it was raining. It rained, so I figured there wouldn't be that many people at the park. 비가 와서 공원에 사람들이 별로 없으리라 생각했어요. So then how can you interpret this? 없으리라. Well, remember, I said it's equivalent to the modern day regular future tense quoting form, so you can kind of replace it with this form in your head whenever you see it. 비가 와서 공원에 사람들이 별로 없을 거라고 생각했어요. And now we have a regular modern sentence with the regular future tense quoting form grammar. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Let's do another sentence though. 철수가, so our friend 철수, 모델로 성공하리라고는 아무도 예상하지 못했으리라. So nobody would have expected that Charsu would be successful, 성공하다, as a model. Nobody could have expected Charsu would be successful as a model. Here we actually use this form twice. The first one is here. 성공하리라고는. So as for, Charsu would be successful as a model. So again, this is the future tense. Nobody could have predicted that. 했으리라. When you end it with the Urira form like this at the end of a sentence, it implies that it's the future tense form. So, hesir koshida. Nobody would have predicted that. So, once more, Charsuga modelo songong haridagonen amudo yesang haji botesirida. And our last sentence is this one. Orenen, so this year, kok hapkyok harida. So I will make sure to hapkyokhada to pass. I'm gonna make sure that I pass my classes this year. 우리는 꼭 합격하리라. Now this form again, it's the future tense form. So you can just think of it as like saying 할 거예요. 하겠습니다. I will pass my class. I shall pass my classes certainly this year. So it's just a fancier future tense form that can also be used in quoting situations with verbs like to think or to say or to decide. So have you ever seen this form used before? Let me know where you saw it in the comments. And thanks for watching. And special thanks goes out to my Patreon and YouTube supporters. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.